Hello, we're currently doing a weekly angel and tarot card reading for the week of November 12th through to November 18th. My name is Robin and I own Robin's Healing. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel as well. Thank you for clicking the thumbs up button if indeed you do like these videos. So feel free to comment, say what you like. Also, if there's something that you'd like more of, also comment on that. So we're going to be doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Focus is really coming up. Let's keep it at that, and then we'll do a Saturday and Sunday card with a theme. All right, actually, I lied. Saturday and then Sunday. And our theme is going to be a Page of Earth, Scholarly, Dependable, Patient, Successful. I will also leave my website down below so you can check out some of my services. I offer Theta Healing, Reiki, as well as Reflexology, and I'm doing 40% off from November 24th until November 30th. That's a great opportunity to uh, try a service if you never have with a... A uh, nice little discount, okay? Good news about financial matters. Lots of stuff happening around the nose, actually. So my um, symbol for the nose is like stomach issues. Um, it could even be that you're emotionally feeling unsettled. So it's it's really learning to find balance when it comes to your relationships, but maybe with your body as well. So good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So this is about getting um, more rest or catching up on your sleep. When I do reflexology on clients, they often sleep better as a result. So I get a lot of people that have sleep issues. So if you're feeling like you need to go to the doctor or there's something that you need to uh, work on, um, then definitely do that. Like this is a week of taking more credit, I feel like, for the things that you've done, but also um, kind of getting some counseling if you need counseling or just acknowledging what it is that you want, what you value, what you need, etc. So meditation would be amazing as well. I'm doing a healing night on the 14th at 6.15. It's $15. We're going to do general healing as well. We can always slip in some nice meditation there. So this is about learning not to resist to the changes that are happening. So be proud of yourself, but also learn how to like go with the flow, stand up for yourself. It's going to mean something different um, for everyone, but that's just our general theme. On Monday, be honest with yourself. So this is about judgment. Great, great, great day for working on meditation, letting go of stress. So stress relief, stress tech, stress-free techniques, things like that. Um, it's actually a holiday um, here. So that's a, a great uh, thing for people that need to do the stress reduction. But I feel like it's about treating yourself with um, financial things as well. So if it's going out to dinner, like buy yourself an extra appetizer, or um, if it's just doing something nice for yourself, if it's related to your hair, like do something a little extra for yourself. It's going to kind of add the icing on the cake. Again, only for some people, but for the most part, Monday is going to be a day of reducing um, something in your life. If it's diet related, if you need to eat less salt, it's a day for, um, eliminating also toxins just but the stress is a key thing okay so stress relief on Monday I like, that's why I like to be honest with yourself Tuesday back to work justice Archangel Regul number eight fair and just decisions this is about um, learning to really go with the flow on Tuesday so this is when we're actually learning to be a bit more creative and uh, changing up our lifestyle just a little bit on Tuesday so this is about again giving yourself more um, credit and also creating more boundaries in your life but keeping your energy uplifted so another great day for getting energy work done or theta healing would be amazing on Tuesday this is about relaxing when you're able to so take advantage of opportunities that are coming your way um, come up with strategies that are really helpful for you moving forward so it may be that you need to get someone else's opinion, keeping in mind you're not going to, you know, listen to everything, but it's definitely a day for, yeah, finding that inner strength and, and raising the energy and finding balance. Okay, so Monday and Tuesday, kind of alike, but Tuesday is more the energy work and Monday maybe more the... Um, the like stress stress relief Tuesday the kind of like shifting moving forward so then we have Wednesday King of Earth I love this card a successful time confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch professional so this is about really learning to go with the flow and having a positive attitude it could be an increase in revenue it could be charging more for something that you're doing maybe you're downplaying yourself again the confidence piece of acknowledging how far you've come and therefore you need to raise your energy 
energy as a result. So positive affirmations I would suggest on Wednesday, which is basically just saying positive things to and about yourself, about your life, inside of your own head. And this will um, be helpful if we're going through anything. It's just shifting that mindset. But you also have to have fun and be creative as well. So anything that you want to do, take a new class, um, get together with friends. Wednesday would be great for um, helping other people or allowing other people to help you. Okay, so psychology, it's also coming up. Uh, that's what I studied. It's very much like learning how to train the mind to think in different ways. So maybe theta healing would be great on Wednesday as well. I feel like knowing people's intentions is super important um, because if you are a good person and you're an honest person, then you deserve to be around those people. So maybe it's a day for um, also releasing stress and decluttering. So it sounds like that's going to be the whole week. So Wednesday is going to be uh, perhaps exercise for you and learning about more about that inner strength, but through mental. So yoga may be great as well. Thursday, this is like... I feel like you're doing something really big, um, and bigger is better on Thursday, I would say. So it's very much about that having that positive attitude. Uh, it could be having an energy of gratitude, being grateful, so blessings in disguise. This is more talking about stillness and quietness, so um, meditation, definitely, but rose quartz is coming up on Thursday, so that's self-love. I feel like someone's a little bit hard on themselves on Thursday, so again, we have to connect to the learning lessons. We have to have our white light moment, the epiphany, so we're still in this um, beautiful Scorpio new moon energy, but we're there are a lot of shifts along the way. So a very, very powerful time for uh, doing the things that you know you need to, need to do. So getting clarity on situations is also helpful on Thursday. So if you're a, you have a heightened sensitivity or a heightened sense of awareness, this is a great time for, um, you know, starting to do visualization exercises as well. So like starting to see your, your future and really working on feeling that inner strength and, and guidance towards the new, which I love. So music may be helpful, writing may be helpful, but whatever it is that stands out to you, super important. I feel like there's some old news happening or old energy that you're kind of coming up, um, that's coming up, but it's helping you also. So it's, it's a therapeutic day as well, but we have to find that balance pretty much all week. So connecting to people that make you feel that way, connecting to your spirituality, um, but don't close yourself off. Thursday, definitely open up yourself um, a little bit more and you'll find that you're able to link up more with the right people. So then we have Friday, change in direction. So the universe is definitely pulling you um, into places that are teaching you lessons, but it's also like learning when to um, when to be a certain way. So I think you're learning how to shift. You're learning how to change, how to be more flexible, how to um, you know work with other people or learn to isolate when when it's needed. So definitely a spiritual day as well on Friday. But this is about feeling really important in your life. So self-love is much more important um, on Friday as like that's why the Rose Quartz was coming up Thursday as well. But it's more about the stimulation. So I deserve this. I'm worth this. So it's that gratitude energy is going to be helpful by teaching you to also let go the past. And uh, I think Friday may be a day for um, just connecting to who we are are as a whole that sounds pretty deep but it makes sense from last week's energy so this is adapting to these new changes and seeing yourself as as evolving and being a positive person and working on whatever it is that you you want to work on and hopefully that could be like related to balance and moderation health that sort of thing so career wise a uh, great time for creativity lots of exciting energy so friday i would say work on the new plans but you should already have those plans kind of in place so you would be more or less beginning Friday, or at least you're connecting to how it's all going to happen, okay? So um, don't put yourself down at all, especially Friday, joy. Saturday is saying, um, this is about getting focused. And aside from the gratitude energy, because obviously there's going to be a trickle effect all week, 
Um, it's about, again, those intentions. If I ha am a good person, I have good intentions and that's all that matters. So it may be on Saturday a day to remind yourself of why you're here on earth. So great day for grounding, great day for meditating. Um, exercise would be amazing. Also, uh, this is about celebrating that you're on earth also. So doing the things that you love to do, having more fun. If fitness is something that you can fit into your life that makes you feel really good and alive, then definitely do it. Reiki would be great on Saturday, but anything that uplifts your spirit, definitely do on Saturday. You're going to need it a little bit more than usual, so that's why um, we need to take care of ourselves so that we can get to those benefits then. Sunday, so uh, it's so that makes sense. Saturday, no, I'm just trying to think. Yep, no, so uh, Saturday, oh my goodness, I'm figuring this out now. I feel like Saturday is Remembrance Day. Sunday is Remembrance Day. All right, so uh, let your past go, Remembrance Day, Sunday. So this is about learning how to um, take things as it comes, even if it's not positive, and really working on how to shift the energy into something positive. So this would be a great time for manifesting, great time for getting in the public, great time for remem remembering people that you've lost that have been in the war, like connecting to veterans, things like that, especially your own family, your intimate circles would be really helpful. So finding more laughter, joy, peace, <coughs> excuse me, but you're still going to need some stimulation on Sunday as well, similar to the Friday energy. So how can you let go of control and uh, start enjoying your life a little bit more? So you're going to find if you're feeling grounded and you're feeling peaceful on Sunday, this is going to be a great day to not just remember loved ones, but I feel like remember the joy that was once in you or remember the light that was once in you. So if you do suffer from any lower energies, this is going to be the day to kind of shine the light, that bright light in on your universe. And as a result, other people will feel that energy. Okay. So, um, let go of the control and connect with um, other people. Great week for helping others. I do sense because some people are going to need it more than others. And really connecting to that celebration piece will also be helpful. Creativity. Um, and I do feel like for some people it's great for networking as well. So if you're feeling a little bit uh, challenged right now, you're working on the lesson learning and how to, how to switch um, almost like your lifestyle up. Okay, so I hope that you found this helpful. Under my products, you can read up or um, look at my videos on uh, crystals. So if you just want to have more knowledge about that, you can do that as well. So I hope that you guys have an amazing week. Take care. Love you all. Bye.